in some very unfortunate news, AEW star Jeff Hardy has been arrested in Florida. AEW star Jeff Hardy was arrested just after midnight last night. Records show that Hardy was booked in the jail after 12.45 a.m. on charges of driving with a suspended or revoked license and other and also a DUI charge, which would make it his third offense in the last 10 years. Hardy received a cash bond of $3,500 for the license charge, $2,500 for the DUI. He's currently incarcerated in St. James Foxman Justice Center in Daytona Beach, Florida. He's scheduled to appear in front of a judge on June 14th, Tuesday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So, obviously, this comes to a surprise to a lot of people because, you know, Jeff Hardy is a big-time player right now in AEW. He's being... He's being featured a lot on TV. In fact, he was supposed to be, he was scheduled, I should say, to compete in a triple threat ladder match with his brother Matt Hardy for the AEW Tag Team titles against Jurassic Express and uh, and and Red Dragon at, or and the Young Bucks, I should say, at Road Rager in St. Louis on Dynamite this week. It does not look like that is going to happen, at least right now, considering he has to be in front of a judge tomorrow, Jeff Hardy. Of course, we we're not going to, I'm not going to go over his history and I'm not going to really get into his problems specifically with in the past, especially with, with drugs or alcohol. That's all public knowledge. And I'm not here to beat that dead horse. All I will say is I genuinely hope that Jeff Hardy gets the help that he, he needs if he does in fact uh, need help. Uh, And again, I, I think that this is a little bigger than wrestling considering the, the charges that Jeff Hardy faces. The most serious charge, by the way, is the DUI charge, which is his third in the last 10 years. That could potentially see him having jail time, which is not a good thing, obviously, if you're Jeff Hardy or even a fan of, of Jeff Hardy. Uh, it, it is unfortunate. This is the only thing that you can say. I will comment on the wrestling part of this because there is that wrestling component of it, and that's the one that I'm going to choose to focus on right now. He, again, was scheduled is com- scheduled to compete on Dynamite in a triple threat ladder match for the AEW World Tag Team Championships. I don't see that happening at this point. I don't know what his future with AEW is going to look like if he has one. It, it begs the question, you know, does AEW consider releasing him? I, I don't know. I'm not going to act like I have knowledge. What I will say is AEW has not really faced a situation comparable to this, I don't think, in in their existence. Um, They don't release talent for if if they're not using them unless the talent specifically asks for their release. Whether or not Jeff Hardy gets released is obviously going to be left to Tony Khan and the AEW management. But I would hope that If Jeff Hardy, again, if Jeff Hardy does need any sort of help, that AEW would provide that and and help him out with that because that is the most important thing here, along with his legal defense and and whatever goes on on there, because this is this is likely going to be a very it's going to be very serious. Like, I, I again, I am not going to act like I'm all read into and I'm all lawyered up as far as Florida uh, driving law goes, but when you have these type of offenses back to back to back uh, within the past 10 years, especially like they said in the charge, it can it is not good uh, as far as the leniency you might or may not get because you're showing a pattern of behavior. And so, again, that is like I think the number one priority that in his health and well-being are the number one priority for Jeff Hardy. We hope he gets what he needs and, and we hope that he comes out the other side of this as only Jeff Hardy can. But again, unfortunate day. We will update you guys on the situation as it comes, but another unfortunate day in pro wrestling.